Welcome. Welcome to Motivational Moment. I'm Coach Rosa Smith Montanero. I'm so excited that you've joined us for our series on mental health awareness. And we're talking about uh, feelings that are not so great to feel and ways to, to overcome them, to tame them, tips. And this week, we're going to talk about self-doubt. Self-doubt is very, very common during our job search, right? Especially when you have to have a lot of interviews. Self-doubt shows up when we're changing careers. It shows up when we're starting a business. It shows up when any major transition action, trans, uh, it shows up <laughs> when any major transition occurs. And you know what I'm doing? I'm demonstrating to you, not on purpose, but I make mistakes and it causes us to doubt ourselves. And I'm going to keep talking. Now, normally I could stop right there. I could erase this and start over, but I'm going to share with you that um, it's really important to not let doubt stop you from doing what you want to do. Doubt is just a fleeting feeling, and we all feel it, right? It's very common. So one of the, the tips I'm going to give you, and it's actually a tip that I, I will say right now is the reason I'm going to keep going and not stop and re-record, is that the first one is know your strengths. Know your strengths. You see, when you know what you're good at and what you can accomplish, and you focus on your strengths, it helps to erase doubt. Now, I'm going to continue talking because I know that my strength is uh, teaching, right? I know it's one of my strengths. I know one of my strengths is going live and talking about a coaching topic and being able to go with the flow that if someone asks me a random question, I can answer it without thinking and I'm trusting that I'm not going to get distracted by uh, stumbling once in a while. I'm going to keep going forward because it's one of my strengths. And I want you to know your strengths. And if you have a hard time knowing your strengths, look at your past performance evaluations. Look at what is easy for you to do. Ask your friends what they see are some of your strengths. People will tell you. And it's going to help melt the doubt. Another one is challenging that negative self-talk, right? When you have a negative thought, it's going to cause a feeling. And if you are feeling doubt, I guarantee you are saying something in your head that's triggering that feeling. And so I want you to be aware of what that is. And I want you to be able to say, stop, this isn't true. We're working on this, counter it. Show yourself that it isn't true. Switch it up very quickly. Don't let your mind stay there. Third tip is taking those tiny steps, one step at a time. Break things down into small, simple steps. And that builds your confidence. It allows you to have more wins. And you will start to feel uh, more successful. You know, it's interesting because um, I remember hearing something that John Tesh said in his life hack uh, series, and it was something as simple as making a bed in the morning helps you have a better day because it starts your day with a win. And a small win gives your brain that, that little boost it needs, and it, it likes having these little wins. So break things down into tiny steps and maybe make that first one to help eliminate that doubt, making your bed. So maybe what I'm going to give you as your test this week is make a very small step that you could do every day, like making a bed and remind yourself that this is your boost. This is the sign that my day is starting off well. I'm starting off with a win and let your mind stay in a win. You have that choice, you know. You can choose to continue to perpetuate a negative thought or you could choose to stop it. You are in control of your thoughts. You can intercept a thought. You can tell it to stop and you can move it right around. You could just change to another thought. It doesn't mean the feeling is instantly going to change, but you can say, you know, I know this isn't good for me. Let me interrupt this now because this is only leading me to more doubt which could spiral you out of control. 
And I might give you a second action item. And that might be find something that makes you laugh uh, on a daily basis to watch or read just for a few minutes, just to, to, to get your brain in that happy space. Laughter is great medicine. I hope this was helpful. I hope you apply these tips. And I look forward to seeing you in our workshops and our career center in, in the comments and share our videos. Take care of my friends. 